tried to look at our tactical understanding, tactical cohesion in the team. Uh, but the MTN 8 is, is different, it's a sprint. Uh, when you look at the league, the league um, is more of a marathon. So we still have to play the teams that you played in the first round. But in the MTN 8, you play once, you have to do well. And I think uh, the demands will be more on our, on, on us to, to win games, on us to score goals, on us to defend goals. And also on our tactical side of it, uh, a better implementation of our tactics. And also it has got a lot in terms of our physical readiness because it's an early cup game in the season and we are still um, uh, getting ourselves uh, physically ready in, in understanding the demands of the game and also how do we manage the game. But uh, coming into the game on Sunday, I think uh, it's a waffa waffa as it says. It's for us to go out there, do our best and win the game. Um, we tested how it's like to be in the semi-finals last year. Uh, even though we did not lose the game, but we were booted out of the of the of the cup. So this year we are looking forward to go beyond the semi final, go into the finals, and uh, everything going well for us, uh, winning this uh, this trophy. It's it's also uh, out of all the competitions, the one with the fewer numbers uh, of matches. Um, in a tournament like that also is the pressure. Um, if you win it, uh, Eddie, are you also looking at uh, from from that perspective? Fewer games with high intensity. Fewer games with uh, a lot of pressure on the players and on the technical team because, uh, like I said, you play each game to win. And if you have to play each game to win, mentally you have to be very ready, mentally you have to be uh, very strong because uh, you, you can't be looking back after you have lost a game. Um, the most important thing is for you to win uh, every game you play. So I think uh, we are ready uh, because uh, we have got a very rich history as a club, having won the MTN 8 more than any other team in the, in the PSL. So I think uh, that comes with motivation, not necessarily pressure, because uh, playing for Kaiser Chiefs and coaching Kaiser Chiefs, it's always pressure because the expectations are very high. So you have to have uh, a very strong mental approach in terms of uh, your readiness going into these games. I think uh, the most important thing, like I'm saying, it's a waffle waffle. You don't have the first half and the second half. Uh, the approach has to be of high intensity from the beginning. Because uh, if you have to drag the game into extra time, it will put a lot of pressure on your team in terms of uh, the physical readiness. It will put a lot of strain on your, on your players. So it is important for us to start the first half on a high to put uh, the opponents under pressure and putting them under pressure uh, we must be able to score goals because the critical phases of the game will be very important and also in managing the rest of the players because we have played uh, back-to-back matches and we are looking forward to have them fresh on, su on Sunday so that we can uh, uh, put our foot down from, from the first whistle because when you are looking at um, the first half and the second half uh, we played two, two, two different halves but the most important thing was for us to put uh, pressure on the opponents and then win the first half and the second half. How would you say yesterday's game uh, uh, taught you about the team that you have and also uh, what kind of conversations <laughs> have you had with Brendan Peterson after playing so well and then at the end making that mistake? Yeah, when you prepare a team at training, you prepare, you prepare those individuals to be part of the team and when you go into a game, you're taking your team into the game. And when we win a game, we celebrate as a team. If ever you lose a game, it is all about the mistakes that will happen in a game as a team. So we are looking at uh, the result of yesterday as a team result. We are not pointing fingers at anybody, but at the same time we have to pep up those players who might have had a bad game. Because uh, in any game, if you make mistakes, you get punished, but at the same time you st should still remain in the game. And uh, giving them confidence going into the weekend match, we are not necessarily going to look on the negatives. We need to build their confidence for them to understand that it's a cup game and we have to go, go out there and win. And what would you say you've learned about your team in terms of the character uh, playing in such a huge game? Um, they tried to come back, but in the end, you know, they let it slip. So what would you say you've learned? To do? What do you come out of the game with? I think uh, in terms of our tactical preparation, which also included the mental side of it, we were expecting a very tough game. Um, we have uh, we have Sundowns that are the current league champions. We have Sundowns that has played uh, in the in the in, in the CAF competitions. So they've got the experience. Uh, they've got uh, uh, the necessary skills, uh, maybe to 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 have ways and means of handling a game like that. Because it was an, a great A match, but also from our side, we needed to to have a good plan 
uh, not exposing ourselves, by the same time to head sundowns wherever we could head them. But unfortunately, things did not work out very well for us in the first half. But in the second half, I think we came out uh, with confidence, with belief that uh, it is our, our, our half, we have to win it. But uh, in a game of football, the results are not what we wanted. Coach, in terms of, we know you still have a few training sessions before the match, obviously, on Sunday. Are we likely to see changes? Because like you said, the game's such a quick turnaround. Obviously, a certain certain players have played more than others. Are we likely to see changes, mass changes from your side or no? Yeah, I think uh, changes has to be has to be made because we are still managing players. It's very early in the season, so we don't want to have major muscle injuries, uh, especially as early as now. So we'll also make changes just to rotate players around to get them fresh and ready for for the cup game on Sunday. Coach, this tournament is about goals. We've only scored one so far. Uh, how, how, how high is the belief that come Sunday the goals will come? And also, when Chiefs won this tournament for the first time as the M10-8, it was. Back in 2008, and then, then coach. Now there's a new trophy on board. Can this maybe be a testament of how the team will do season? Considering that if they do well here, it will actually go along. I think it's a good motivation for all of us, um, for the new players, for the new technical team, to look at it as an opportunity to say, let's win this one and get settled, and also uh, give confidence to our supporters and give confidence to ourselves as a club. So we are looking forward to do our best in this uh, turn. I mean, this uh, uh, cup. And then if everything works out well for us, um, we'll be able to be the first one to win this new trophy. Goals? Uh, yeah, oh, okay. Goals? On the goals? Now goals, uh, goals will, will be coming. Uh, I think um, uh, that is the rotation that you are working on uh, to get players playing. Uh, Ash did not start last week. He started this week and then he got us a goal. And then some players came in and they contributed uh, positively to the, to the club. So we are looking forward to everybody, not only strikers, the whole club. We can, we can score goals from set plays, from open play. So we are also putting responsibility of, score, of scoring goals to all of us in the club. I think uh, the first thing that you do in a, in, a, in a league like this, you have to do your analysis. You analyze yourself, you look at your strengths and weaknesses, and also you you look at the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. And I think uh, um, when you look at the game they played against Solos yesterday, there were those moments Solos could have scored, there were those moments Solos could have won the game, but at the end of the day they won the game. So I think uh, we are looking at it that way to say it's competition, it's, um, it's 11 versus 11 tactically and mentally, and we are, we are ready with us, with our team. Uh, having scored a goal yesterday, I think it brings confidence into, into the team to say, yes, you can score goals. So, uh, scoring goals uh, will be the most important thing because in a, in a cup game like this, you have to score goals to win games. Uh, like I said, last year we did not lose a game, but we are booted out of the cup. So, we are looking forward to score goals and win this game.